Emily Sandy has dropped a new album, plus this is track one of the new album and it's called All This Love. Just recently released in the last 48 hours, so I've jumped on board to react because I think it's an incredible song. She is an award-winning singer from England, from Sunderland, but I'm going to give you a bit of bio because a lot of people still don't know much about her. Emily Sunday is and was born in Sunderland but raised in Scotland and she rose to prominence after being featured on the 2009 track Diamond Rings by rapper Chipmunk. Then it was the first top 10 single for both artists and she was featured on Never Be Your Woman by the rapper Wiley thereafter which was also another top 10 hit and in 2012 she received the Brit awards critics choice and she never looked back because her album was over 1 million sales way back in 2012 and we all remember beneath your beautiful labyrinth and read all about it as some of the singles from that particular album in 2012 she's performed at the opening and closing ceremonies of the london olympics and in 2013 at the brit awards ceremony where she won two awards best female solo artist and best album of the year deservingly so if you fast forward up to 2016 she's done the long live the angels which debuted at number two the album and in 2017 she won another brit award for best brit british female solo artist becoming her fourth win in total and in 2018 she featured in the singing voice which a lot of people and i didn't know the voice of the Thunder Thing on a Watership Down. If we fast forward to what she's currently doing, she's got everything postponed as regards marriage. Now, she was pre previously married to a scientist, a guy, and now she's engaged to her artist partner. And when she was asked about her sexuality a couple of years ago before they got engaged, she said, I don't believe there's any restrictions as regards to love and uh, if I love I just love more or less that's what she said so fast forward she's postponed most things because of tour dates the marriage to her current partner and postponed the wedding but hopefully things will be back on track when she realizes her album is number one in England again because it deservingly so needs to be what does she de say about today's single Today's single, she says, if we go through heartbreak or experience or unrequented love, we can end up channeling it in a more destructive ways. I'm very much an all or nothing person. So after a relationship ends, I'm like, what am I supposed to do with all this love? It's very true. I have to say, I've never asked myself that, but it's very true. You, that's the question. We have so much energy, true, true, so much as human beings that if it hasn't been expelled in the right way, we're stressed and we're anxious. Now I have looked at the lyrics I always do before I start my analysis and I'm flicking through my notes. What did I put myself? I put as a summary to what I think the song is about. We'll have to watch the video and then go through the lyrics. It explores an overwhelming experience of love and the confusion that it can arise when there's an abundance of it without a clear outlet. That's what I think it's about. Am I right? Let's listen to the song. Let's save her. I'll, bring, I'll have the lyrics ready to go as soon as she's finished. There's quite a few to get through and we'll analyze all of it together. Emile Sande, I hope it's a number one album for you again because I didn't even mention the name of the album tonight to promote you. How bad of me is that? It's called How Were We To Know? That's the name of the album, everybody. And this is track one from Emile Sande or Emile Sande, as some people say, from that album. And I'm looking forward. Everyone's calling this already. A lot of fans are saying, Oh wow, it's a masterpiece. Oh wow, it's a masterpiece. Is it? Let's take a listen. Well, you're a little bit like me, a little goddamn crazy. And in the scenes and roundabouts, we never helped each other out. It's a real shame, baby. Just how love goes down Since you stopped calling me, baby 
just can't shake it I think what you've done, Amelia Sande, is launch your album with a masterpiece. Everybody is going to relate to that song. Everybody, including myself. It's absolutely phenomenal. Well done. Congratulations on coming back and get married. Your woman's waiting far too long. <laughs> I'm sure you don't need to be reminded. But we go to verse one. You're a little bit like me, she says, a little goddamn crazy, like limousines and roundabouts. We never help each other out. It's just a real shame, baby. But that's just how love goes down. Since you stopped calling me, baby, things been a little bit shady. Been jumping out of airplanes, racing in the fastest lanes. No use trying to save me, because that's just how love goes down. But what am I supposed to do with all this love, she asks. What am I supposed to do at the end of that? That. So there's a build-up, a build-up of love. Oh my God, I swear it's building up. So what am I supposed to do with this love? Going out into the chorus, all this love, all this love. So it's building up, building up, building up inside of it. There's an explosion about to happen. Because in the first verse, Sandy describes herself as that person that she's singing about. Being someone unconventional, unpredictable. Now, people thought that when she got married to male, divorced two years later, her scientist, her ex-partner, and then decided, oh, I'm in love with a woman. So people would obviously would ask the question, are you bisexual? And she was probably a woman just didn't want to be defined, as she said, rightfully so. And she was just a woman that was full of love. She probably too much for a man to understand and cope with and her way of thinking I have enough love for you but enough love for a woman and enough love for another person that comes along it's probably just her genetic makeup because whether we like it or not everybody the amount of women that have testosterone in their system and men always ignore that and I said well why can they do most jobs that Men, uh, men can do and I say most jobs in a polite way because there are structurally some jobs that women cannot do because if they do they put themselves in jeopardy or uh, jeopardize carrying a child if they choose to so that's why I say it there are a lot of jobs even women would hold up their hands and say I wouldn't try that because I want to have children I don't want to put myself in a dangerous position but when it comes to love it's universal so it's it is unconventional, it is unpredictable how she comes across. There are, as she says, there are a little goddamn crazy in the lyrics and enjoy the thrill of adventure and excitement. However, always a however or a but, isn't there? Despite those shared experiences, she doesn't provide support to substantiate them for further relationships and how she thinks, leading to a sense of disappointment, frustration in love. And she knows that love can be unpredictable and frickle, making it difficult to rely on. I would agree with that. I've never gone into a relationship where I feel I'm going to desperately fall in love. This is going to be the person for the rest of my life. And we're going to walk down the aisle, live happily ever after. Basically because 
fifty percent didn't want me anyway, and the and the other fifty percent would use me as a stepping stone for something in their minds better. So when the chorus says and it presents itself with the question, "What am I supposed to do with all this love?" I've been in that situation, the juxtaposition of no man's land, thinking, "Well, I've been this way. I've been this way." What way do I go in life? Because I always felt in love, every two steps forward, I go two steps back. But Sandy is overwhelmed by the amount of love she feels in this song. She seems to have no place to go, like the empty house that she's going around. It's just full of empty rooms, mean and barren. And that's how she becomes when she thinks too long at it. It's a burdensome feeling that she has. And it continues to build up without apparent resolution. The repetition of the question that only emphasizes her sense of confusion and searching for this answer. So when it comes to the second verse, it says, friends don't call back lately. Guess they're tired of crazy. They say I'm nothing like before, said I'm overboard, but hey, hey, but can they blame me? Cause see the way that love goes down and then she goes into the chorus again but what am i supposed to do with this love all of this love what am i supposed to do with this love all of this love it's almost the torture she's putting herself under oh my god my god it's building up exactly the mental and it's affecting the physical and we see that in in how she dances in the face and breathes and she's up against the wall she feels like banging her head on the wall but she doesn't because the video needed to be ended without any bloodshed. And then she says, so what am I supposed to do all of this love? Repeating, repeating, I just can't shake it in the bridge. Repeating, repeating into the chorus. What am I supposed to do? Continuously torturing and asking herself, what am I supposed to do? So that second verse, she's expressing that her friends have distanced themselves, possibly because they find her overwhelming for God's sake, let's be fair. and believe she's changed and probably friends even after when she was married and then divorced and then fell into love with a woman she probably lost a lot of friends because friends i find can either cope with somebody else's lifestyle or they can't well they're not meant to be in your life if they cannot and be supportive but thank god i was reared with a mother that always said Love your neighbor as yourself, because at the end of the day, when you cut yourself, we all have the same color blood. No matter what skin color people say, or put on your friends, or put on the people you meet, just treat them the same as yourself. But when it comes to love and it's overbearing, yeah, friends wouldn't know how to handle that, because they've never experienced it. That's why they've no advice to give when you've no experience. So that overwhelming, overwhelming sensation continues through the song. The bridge highlights the inability to shake or escape any of it. It's just too overwhelming. And it becomes an unavoidable aspect in our life. Whereas when you can't deal with something, you have to face it to find a resolution. Because most people run away from their problems. Or they want a friend to solve it. Or they want a few words to solve it. And people just struggle. And love is one of those things. That's why I'm glad about this song. The song concludes with the repetition of a chorus, because here it is, uh, emphasizing the ongoing search for a solution to an abundance of love. Because Sunday expresses her frustration, her desperation, wondering how effectively to channel or release all the love she feels. So overall, it delves into those complexities, highlighting the challenges, the excess of love that can happen in a relationship, it can. And what outlets have you got? But to exhale and do breathing exercises, maybe dance around the floor, or what can you possibly do? And if people would say to me, what can you do? I would say, you sit and you write down all your frustrations or get it out of your system. I always find writing anger pain love hate whatever emotion you're on writing it down what the eye see the heart feels scrunching it up the old-fashioned way and throwing it in the bin is a great resolution it truly is and don't dismiss it try it before you dismiss it but overall the song explores that confusion and frustration 
an outlet, how are we going to deal with it? And it can result from any situation, this love build-up. Just leaving you searching for the answer to calm down and move on. And if you're in that situation, I wish you all the best. But Amelia Zandi, first track from your new album, it's a masterpiece. Congratulations and thank you for sharing it. Thanks for listening and I hope you like, comment and subscribe.